Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about uh, the next step here. We are in um, the second video for this uh, session, session four, and uh, we are probably going to make a somewhat short video and then move on to the real project. And what I want to do is I want to teach you guys how to um, make the uh, the template HD ready or Retina display ready for the uh, iPhone four or greater. And I'm sure as you guys all know, the iPhone four has a, a, a essentially a greater resolution than the iPhone 3. Okay, so that's a, in portrait mode, the, um, the iPhone 3 had a, a screen size of uh, 320 by 480. Our retina displays have a screen size of 640 by 960, so exactly double. And where that becomes an issue uh, is that uh, when we've got this box 2D universe inside of that, we're gonna need to change uh, the, the, the vector points inside of um, the box 2D world uh, double to what they um, were if it was just on the non-retina display device. And this is not an issue you're going to run into with the iPad because keep in mind the iPad is still using those exact pixel values. There's no change in uh, the resolution. It's just a bigger screen. So um, I guess if you were to, if you had absolutely no interest in, in developing for uh, the iPhone 4, you can kind of skip over this, but um, I don't know, I'd, I'd rather you sit tight. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this, and um, essentially I'm just starting with the template again, and I've got, um, I just saved that out here as a starting file, uh, and then this is the, this is going to be the one that I work with right now that we up convert. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. So the big change to make uh, right away is going to be over here in our app delegate implementation file, and what we want to uncomment out are these lines right here. So we are enabling the uh, the Retina display, and all this is just saying is you'll get an error message popping up if, it, if that's not supported. Okay. Uh, just to kind of prove a point here, what I'm going to do is run the simulator real fast, and uh, keep in mind when you see it this small, that means it's the iPhone 3 simulator and uh, not the retina display one. So if I were to go over here to hardware, uh, click on, well first actually, just look, everything is working. You can see those little boxes exactly around our sprites. Uh, now if you're gonna over, go over here to the iPhone retina, let's close it out and then just publish it again. And what we'll see is that the, um, the box 2D shapes are um, offset from our sprites. Now the, the thing to keep in mind is that our sprites do follow exactly where our mouse is getting clicked. Okay, so right in the middle where I click with my mouse, it drops the sprite. It's the box 2D shape that is um, that's offset. And you know, again to kind of explain this, our box 2D world just needs to kind of get reinterpreted with the the Retina display. All right, now remember. The retina display is double than what the iPhone 3 is, and that's the only thing that we haven't told Box 2 yet, that you do need to double things, all right? And really, it, what we do is we just throw in a, a scale factor to this, okay? So if everything were kind of doubled, scaled up, um, they should fall right in line. And even when you just look at this, it just kind of makes sense, you know? You can see how the boxes, you know, double where they're at, they should be mind right back up again and uh, another issue too though is uh, our uh, our blocks here uh, we should throw in a an HD size version of uh, these guys as well but um, we'll get to that next so go over here to the hello world layer and we're gonna change this uh, this draw statement here which um, I didn't actually talk much about at all. Actually, I didn't say anything about this at all when I was explaining the template because it's not really something I know much about um, this, these uh, OpenGL states. But uh, I do know that you know from doing my work, this is what needs to get changed uh, to throw in the scale factor for um, Box 2D. So just go ahead and paste uh, exactly in what I just pasted here. So everything from well, there's blue area, and uh, the guy to look at here is really just this CC content scale factor, and all that comes down to is it's just, um, uh, it's really just the number two, uh, I believe. <laughs> it's, uh, or is it, yeah, I think it's two, uh, because if you're on the iPhone 3, that would just equal one, and if you're on the iPhone 4, that's going to equal two, so we're just scaling things up by two, and now let's give it another shot in the simulator. Hey, look at that, our boxes 
are now around the shapes. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, but there is, oh, you know what? Let me clean up the project. I worked a little ahead here, and um, I think the simulator still has a cache version of uh, my blocks-hd file in there because things actually shouldn't be working correctly at this point. But uh, that simulator, it'll, it'll cache a file, meaning it, it keeps it around even after I've deleted it. So let's see. Well, yeah, I don't know why it's still doing that. But here's what you should do. Go over here into your project file, go to resources, find blocks, just copy it out, and you're gonna write dash HD by it. Okay, open it up, go over here to adjust size, and for percent, instead of pixels, just put in 200%, save that guy out, and then put it into your project. And who knows, I'll probably have some error in here now that says it's in there twice. Because it was definitely finding that HD version before. Okay, but now, uh, once you've done that, everything should be all nice. What was happening before is you were just seeing, occasionally you'd get the right image, and then, but, well, the right just being, you'd get this as one entire block. And then you'd see, like, all green or something for one of the box. So anyway, yes, now um, we are doing pretty good. So we've got this um, set up for uh, the HD version and let's, um, let's uh, while we're just kind of messing around, since that didn't actually take that long, let's go over here to our root view controller and I'm gonna set this, so here I'll just kind of scroll down and show you guys where I'm at exactly. Let's set this up for portrait mode. We're just going to put it in here, portrait, instead of landscape, and let's see what that does. Okay, well, it's definitely in portrait mode now. The, um, the thing you'll run up against if you are testing on a device is this little issue. Go over here to your hello world there, and your accelerometer statement is, and they put a little note here, it's based on you having it... Um, in, uh, well, they, they adjusted it for landscape mode. So what you're going to want to do is make that not be a negative, switch that back to being X, and then if you wanted to have the gravity adjusted by the um, acceleration along the Y axis, you can leave that as is. Uh, what I'm going to just do is leave this as, um, or just change it to negative 10. So things are always going to be pulled down in this scenario. And uh, let's see now. Actually, now you won't see any difference in the, um, the iPhone simulator, but if you did plug up your phone and then tilt it left or right, it would be making the appropriate change um, based on the dev device tilt. And if you wanted to make it like opposite world, you could just throw in a negative value here. Or if you just didn't want to use the accelerometer at all, you could get rid of all that code. Or uh, even better yet, you could just like pop up here and write, uh, is accelerometer enabled? And just uh, make that be no. Okay, and you know what, while I'm uh, thinking about this, is touch enable is set to yes, uh, but uh, in the app delegate over here, most likely, let's see, do they have it set up? Oh, there's your frame rate if you want to take that on or off. I thought they usually had in here um, something about uh, multiple touches being enabled. And usually that's set off to be no. Um, but uh, if we run into that later, we will. We'll make the appropriate change where we need to. But um, all right, so now, yes, you should have a, uh, a template that is, or at least, yeah, a starting template that's uh, ready to go with uh, HD graphics. And of course, too, the big thing to remember, gotta have that dash HD in there. Okay.